Hi, this is Mighty CS Man. I have a complete curriculum on Introduction to Java Programming using the Building Java Programs book and the accompanying Practice It website. Please see my week one orientation for how to get set up on Practice It. This week we are working on chapter six, which is file processing. And this is one of the coolest things about Java, I think, which is the print stream. So we've spent a lot of time in this course learning how to use system.out.println like this. And we can say something like testing, okay? We all know what that's going to do. But the cool thing about Java is that you can actually use this same format here and print things to a file. And so what you have to do, the only diff different thing is that um, instead of that system.out, we're going to create our own object to do printlens on. And we use the print stream object. So we're going to declare a print stream. Call it P or uh, PS print stream equals new print stream. And then um, we want it to print into the file name message.txt. So I'm going to create actually a new file message.txt. And I almost made the very common mistake of just putting the file name. If you put message.txt there, that's not going to work. You actually have to create a new file with the file name message.txt. Okay, so now we've created that uh, print stream. System.out is actually another print stream, but we can replace this now with sp. So we can do, um, let me copy this. We're gonna do one, two, three. Uh, so we're gonna just, here, I'll, I'll come back in a second after I copy these. Okay, so I copied them all, even a blank line here, okay? So again, these are, this println is the same thing that you would use for system.out, but instead of system.out, we created our own print stream. So system.out, you've now learned, is actually a print stream. But you, you can create your own print stream for, for the new, uh, file, just by saying new file. Okay, so we can go ahead and check this. And that does work. So that's one of the really cool things about Java. So you can actually create a whole bunch of code that prints out to the command line. And then you can just change that. Instead of using system out, you can use a print stream just like this. So that's a pretty cool and powerful feature that Java has. Makes it very easy to go from uh, print lens to writing your own file. So if you found that helpful, please like and subscribe.